Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Modded Minecraft 1.12 playing here on the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well today. We are going to work on an automated wither boss grinder. Let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do the automated wither boss. Yes, I don't like fighting them. I would prefer if we can just handle it with a machine. So we're going to build that machine, and uh, that means we need to go to our main crafting area. So we've had a little bit of a change here. We've gotten everything cleaned out except for our kitchen and our bedroom. Kind of, kind of sparse in here now. And then if we go out here, whoa, hey, look at that. Look at all those trees. Oh, my goodness. And then our standard area over here is all covered in. Yep, I have completely covered the remaining area with trees and then came in with some bone meal and it got that all fixed up. So, uh, so yeah, we've, we've done a lot of retrenching and yeah, we need to turn our attention over here. This is our new area, our new headquarters. Of course, this area right here for our dangerous bees, I don't quite know what to do with those yet. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to go into our main storage area right here. Anything else of note? I changed out all of those all of those power cells for advanced power cells. So we've got storage for 352 million RF in those, plus the massive amount in the dragon ball energy thingy. I don't know what do you call that thing? Energy store? I don't. Anyway, whatever. Let's go into storage here. And I've changed a little bit. You can tell we've added another ME drive and then we've got controllers all the way around. And yeah, other than that, I think, I think we're ready to go. So let's take a look at what we need. We are going to need to do a compact machine. So I think I have one. Yes. Okay. We've got one of those. And then how about we'll do a couple of tunnels just for grins and giggles. And then we also need to build a wither grinder or a mob grinder. So let's get we're going to need one of these. It's from the Draconic Evolution mod. So let's bring up Mob Grinder. Okay, we're not doing the Mob Grinding Utils Mob Masher. We're going to do Mob Grinder. This is from, from Draconic Evolution, as I said. And it is pretty powerful. It takes a lot of RF, but we've got plenty of that to go around. We do need to make a couple of diamond swords. Chuck that in there. And I bet, I bet, what, what do you say? Is the recipe going to pull those diamond swords in? What do you think? No, of course not. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that or doesn't do it rather. So let's do that and that. There we go. We've got the Draconic Evolution Mob Grinder. And then one more thing we're going to need, and that is the mob or the Wither Builder from Industrial Foregoing. So we've got that. Let's take a look here. Uh, we don't have two of the items, one of which is the Nether Star. The machine frame we can do easily enough. Uh, we should be able to call it up here. Machine frame? Yes, we can do one of those. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's chuck those back in there. So we're going to have to kill a wither in order to build the wither builder. Yes, I know. It seems kind of odd, but that's just the way it, it goes. Okay, so so yeah. Anyway, we're going to need some palladium as well. Like I said, that is wither proof. So we'll get a couple of stacks of that. And then uh, what else? Maybe some... Oh, how about a hopper of some form? Do we've we've got this guy, absorption hopper? Yes, I want this one. We don't have the eye of ender, so let's grab oh my goodness. Blaze powder? Okay, we, we can make some. Let's just uh, have that go. Okay. And then eye of ender. Okay, let's make that. We should be able to now. Good. And then the hopper. We can make that. And there we go. And then how about a fluid trash can? Yes, we can. We got one of those. Excellent. We're going to need that because the absorption hopper. We're going to use the absorption hopper to grab our items and the XP from the wither. We're just going to throw the XP away, but we don't want it. Again, this is one of those things. If you're on a server, you need to keep in mind everything that your farms generate. And that includes XP orbs. So this thing is going to grab the XP orbs and we're going to throw them away. Uh, next order of business. Um, 
Well, we could make we could make a machine out of this. We could do that. Uh, let's try. How about a couple of storage crates? Uh, medium. That's overkill. And then some impulse item ducts. Do we have that? Just need that. Okay. And servos. Reinforced. How about some resonant servos? We're just going to go all out. Okay. We're we're in game here now. We got bees producing the enderium. We're we're pretty good. Okay. And anything else of note here? No. How well we are going to need to do a wither. So we need what four of those, and then the skulls. Okay. So three of those. And again, those skulls are coming from the wither chunks that we get from bees. Wither skeleton bone chips. So we do this and put them in nine at a time. And we just do like so. Okay. And those are just coming in from bees. And we've got plenty of wither skeleton skulls that we can do now. Good. All right. All right. I think, I think we're ready to go. Um, so maybe uh, what we'll do is... Um, we do need a sign. Let's see if we can make one. Oh, we've got one. Good. All right. Because because we need a sign. Oh, and uh, that one. Yeah. The mob grinder does require a little bit of RF. So we're going to need that. So let's put that down. And then we'll say wither grinder. Okay. Uh, it doesn't quite match. We'll change it later. But for now... Let's jump into here and see what we can do. All right, brand new one. And then our going to set over here as our entry point. All right, and the reason why is because this thing, even though we're going to have witherproof blocks, we um, we're, it's still gonna be kind of dangerous. So um, we can still get hit with the explosions. So what I wanna do is just build the cage for it. And we're going to put Palladium all around, even though supposedly the solid compact machine wall is witherproof. I, I don't want to take any chances. Again, we are on a server, right? And we need to keep, in, keep that in mind. We need to be good server mates and not release withers out in the wild, uh, even if it's in the compact machine dimension. So certainly don't want to do that. So we've got a hole up here so the withers head can go into that. And then it's going to be three tall. Okay. And grab that. Okay. So three. Yeah. And then this is going to be the floor right here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think we're good. One, two, three. Yeah. Good. Okay. And not. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be fine there. Not you. Let's grab that back. Oh, that was too many. Well, we've got the pick, so I should I should probably use the pick. All right, and the reason why we're covering this all in, even all the corners, is because I am paranoid. I really am. I want to make sure that this thing does not escape and does not cause any problems for me or those on the server. So uh, what we can do right now is set the mob grinder up. Let's do that uh, right here. Yeah, and then we will put... The advanced power cell right here set that to out and we've got rf going into it we should be fine should be fine and then we'll put the absorption hopper right like so and then now it's time for a moment of truth do 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 and oh boy here we go are you ready let's let's put the center one on first so that we can fly out. Okay, so we've got a wither. And so even over here in our safe spot, we, sh we may still get hit with the explosion. And there we go. The mob grinder took care of that. No problem. But the absorption hopper did not pick up the XP. So that's interesting. Huh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, so... Now, the next order of business we need to do is uh, figure out how the items are going to come in. Um, no, you know what? Let's exit the premises. Built. You know what? I didn't get the. I didn't get this thing out of here. 
All right, so we need to grab these items and then we'll exit and let's build the wither builder, craft it while we think about this. Do we want to make this automated in the sense of we can have it as a machine that goes into our AE2 network or, or no? What do you think? So let's do this. We should be able to build it. Yes, we can. Excellent. All right. So we've got that now and uh, we could do it. We could do a, a machine that, that builds those things automatically. Uh, so, so let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see, see how this goes. So we need an interface, right? So we'll do this, make one of those. Good. We got that interface. And then, uh, where are we going to put this interface? Okay. Where are we going to put this interface? We need to maybe, um, how many channels do we have in our auto crafting setup? That's what I need to know. So maybe let's grab this guy, the sign, exit this premises. It's probably dark outside by now. Yes, of course it is. Hopefully we don't have any, any scary guys coming around and bothering us. And then up here, we've got 20, three, and so, so 30. We've got 30 total now. Uh, over here, no channels. So we've got 30 total. Um, we should be fine. We should be fine. So over here, 20. And then on this one, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay. That makes sense. All right. So what we're going to do is put... Um, well, we need to put our interface somewhere. Let's do that. Okay. And then we'll take the compact machine and we'll put it right there and we'll make sure we put the sign back on it. Like so. Wither grinder. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll need to make a recipe. We can't do that over here. We do need to get a couple more soul sand. So let's grab, yeah, a couple. <laughs> uh, and then skull, we'll do that. Okay. It's overkill, but we do need to do some testing. So uh, the next order of business is maybe, just maybe, we'll take the impulse item duct and go like so. And I think we have to go in here and say down. Um, <laughs> this guy, we need to get close to the wall because he's got to export out of the wall and then we'll put one of these on. It's going to go down. Okay. And if we exit, we should see, no, no, no exit. We should see that there's a connection now. No, no connection. Oh, maybe we have to actually put an item duct into this thing. Yeah, there we go. And then if we do this. Yes, okay, there we go. Excellent. So we'll put servo on that. Set that to auto output. And then probably need another servo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, another servo. So let's do that servo and we'll get resonant, of course, because again, end game, right? Why not? Let's go back into the compact machine. Okay. Little, little wonky there. And we'll take this guy, it's absorption hopper and put it right here. Take a medium storage crate, put that right there. And then the absorption hopper up is going to be items and down is going to be fluid. Okay. And we'll put the fluid right like that. Okay. So far, so good, right? Now, the next order of business, we need to grab all of the items out of here 
and send those back outside of our compact machine. And then we need to set the wither builder up right in the middle. I think that's it. And we can test to make sure show working area and it should show. Yes, there we go. Okay. Now, just for grins and giggles, let's take four of these and then three of these. Um, it's not going to build it because we don't have RF. So we need... Uh, so maybe we did need that signal plated item duct. So let's do that. Impulse item duct. And then let's figure out what side... Okay, this is the east, south, so the north side is where the items are going to be coming in, right? So let's do uh, that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Um, we really only needed the item duct up to that point. So I don't want to I don't want to just use the signal and plated item duct willy-nilly. So we should be able to set that and let's see if we've got some flux duct in the network somewhere. Hard not leadstone. Hardened. Let's see if we can make a little bit more hardened flux duct. Right there. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So Go back here. I'm sorry for the back and forth. I uh, wasn't quite sure. I knew I wanted to build one of these things, but I wasn't sure how I wanted to connect it up. Oh. So let that thing take care of its business. Excellent. And that should have gone straight out. So we should have another star in the AE2 system. All right, now we need to put a servo on here, set that to ignored, and then that should grab all the items out of there. All right, so we clearly have RF stored in there, and then let's fill up these last two spots here, like so, and then exit the premises, okay? And let's see if we do, in fact, have another star in there. We do. Good. Good. Now, let's go back to our main storage area. And we need to make that pattern. It's going to be a processing pattern. So, I don't know. I've shown you some of those, but this one's going to be a little different. We've got a custom machine. So, it's been the case that most of my processing patterns have been for machines that come from specific mods. But this is our own machine, which is kind of cool. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to turn that into processing pattern. We need four soul sand and three wither skeleton skulls. We're going to put that on there and that on there. And then we'll get a star and put that on the output. So of course the, the whole machine is going to be creating uh, some sulfur as well, but I think, I think we'll be fine. So let's. Let's see about putting this into a uh, 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 compact machine. Is that what it's going to say? Impulse item duct. Uh, I don't know. So let's just, let's just take a look at how that's going to go. Back to the auto crafting. And then we'll come over here and then put the coded pattern in place. And now... Just as a test, we're going to say nether star, grab this one out, put the soul sand back in there, and let's craft maybe five of them just for fun, okay? Yeah, I know this is asking for trouble, but we should see, all right, there are five withers that have popped up. Good, okay, let's exit from there, and then... Let's go up and see our computer, what it's doing. Okay, it's still crafting, and we should have five nether stars. No, <laughs> typing five. All right, there we go. So uh, that's pretty cool. We've made a custom machine that is attached to our AE2 network. 
Um, you're off. Okay. Yeah. So custom machine attached to our A2 network that is making nether stars for us. How cool is that? I, I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. But let's, uh, we got to find a place to get a screenshot. So maybe let's do uh, nether star. And we'll grab all of these. And how many can we make? 20? Why not? <laughs> um, uh, that might be a little much. But let's go in here just for fun and see. Can we do this? No. F1. Oh, that gets rid of the whole thing. That's no, that's no good. Awesome. Anyway, that is our, our machine. So let's turn around like this and say, oh my goodness, that's, that's rather loud. Let's turn down the sound a little bit, shall we? Yeah. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.